during last video we discussed about the formation of beryllium dihydride on the basis of molecular orbital theory now in this video lecture we are going to see we are going to discuss the formation of water molecule it is a polyatomic molecule formation of water molecule on the basis of molecular orbital theory so in water there are three atoms one oxygen and two hydrogen oxygen atom is a central atom and hydrogen atoms are the peripheral atoms hydrogen has a configuration 1s1 oxygen atomic number 8 its configuration is 1s2 2s2 2px2 2py1 and 2pz1 it means in outermost shell there are six electrons oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen and oxygen is central atom and two hydrogen atoms are the peripheral atoms and water it is angular molecule with hydrogen oxygen hydrogen bond angle is 104 degree 5 minutes now you know that first step is the formation of group orbitals peripheral atoms contribute atomic orbitals towards the formation of group orbitals so on the basis of linear combination of atomic orbitals principle two 1s orbitals of two peripheral hydrogen atoms combine to form two group orbitals for example suppose this is the internuclear axis one hyd first hydrogen contributes 1s atomic orbital with positive sine wave function other hydrogen also contributes 1s atomic orbital with positive sine wave function so this is in phase combination psi 1s plus psi 1s and this in phase combination results in the formation of group orbital namely sigma g so this is the first group orbital and it is represented by psi 1 and psi 1 it is equal to psi 1s plus psi 1s same type of group orbital that is formed in beryllium dihydride again you consider the internuclear axis first hydrogen contributes 1s atomic orbital with positive sine wave function and it combines with the atomic orbital of other hydrogen with negative sine wave function so this combination is psi 1s minus psi 1s because it is out of phase combination and out of phase combination results in the formation of other group orbital it is represented by sigma u u stands for ungirard and sigma means lobes are oriented along the internuclear axis and they they have a axis of symmetry when this orbital is rotated along this axis positive and negative lobes are not exchanged this orbital is represented by psi2 and psi2 is equal to psi 1s minus psi 1s because this is out of phase combination so this is psi2 group orbital now next point is combination of atomic orbitals of oxygen with group orbitals formed by peripheral hydrogen atoms so peripheral hydrogen atoms form two group orbitals that is psi1 and psi2 and these orbitals combine with suitable atomic orbitals of oxygen and actually there is a formation of five molecular orbitals in the water let us we discuss one by one now 2s and 2px orbitals of oxygen combine with psi1 group orbital and form three molecular orbitals namely sigma s sigma x and sigma star x out of three orbitals sigma s and sigma x these are the bonding molecular orbitals 
and sigma star x it is the anti bonding molecular orbital again you consider the internuclear axis so oxygen contributes 2s atomic orbital and 2px atomic orbital actually this internuclear axis it is oriented along the z axis and this x orbital 2px orbital it is right angle to internuclear axis and positive lobe it is aligned with the positive wave function atomic orbital that is 2s atomic orbital it combines with psi1 group orbital and psi1 group orbital suppose having positive sine wave function so positive 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 this is in phase combination but here important thing is the 2px atomic orbital of oxygen and 2s atomic orbital of oxygen and group orbital psi1 group orbital they aligned in a such a way that the positive lobe or they oriented in a such a way that positive lobes are aligned with each other and this is the bend alignment there is a some angle so this is the angle so there is a bending and because of this bending this positive group orbital and 2s atomic orbital of oxygen they are in contact with positive lobe of 2px atomic orbital so this combination it is represented by psi 2s this is the wave function of 2s atomic orbital of oxygen plus psi 2px so positive lobe of 2px orbital it is involved in the combination and plus psi 1 so as all the positive lobes are aligned along the internuclear axis this is in phase combination and it results in the formation of bonding molecular orbital these positive lobes merge along the internuclear axis and therefore this is sigma s and sigma s is equal to psi 2s plus psi 2px plus psi 1 psi 1 it is equal to you know that psi 1s plus psi 1s and therefore sigma s this is equal to psi 2s plus psi 2px plus psi 1s plus psi 1s so in this way there is a formation of sigma s bonding molecular orbital now another molecular orbital formed like this again you consider the internuclear axis which is the z axis the oxygen again contributes 2s atomic orbital but here 2s atomic orbital has negative sin wave function and oxygen also contributes 2px atomic orbital but here the positive lobe it is oriented or it is aligned with negative lobe and therefore this is the out of phase combination so 2s atomic orbital of oxygen aligned with 2px atomic orbital of oxygen with out of phase combination but the psi1 group orbital aligned with in phase combination but here psi1 group orbital it is a larger than the 2s atomic orbital and therefore there is a appreciable merging or overlapping between psi1 group orbital with the positive lobe of 2px atomic orbital again 2s atomic orbital with negative sin wave function it is aligned with uh, uh, even uh, not only this 2s atomic orbital of oxygen but also the group orbital they aligned with 2px atomic orbital of oxygen with some angle and not linearly so this is the bend orientation and it is represented by psi 2s minus psi 2px plus psi 
now psi 2s minus psi 2px meaning of this is 2px atomic orbital of oxygen and 2s atomic orbital of oxygen in between these two orbitals there is a out of phase combination and therefore there is a minus sign whereas 2px atomic orbital of oxygen aligned with group orbital with same sine wave functions and therefore this is in phase alignment so net result is out after in phase combination between 2px and psi1 group orbital there is a formation of again bonding molecular orbital so in this way the group orbital psi1 group orbital merge with or overlap with positive lobe of psi 2px atomic orbital of oxygen and there is a formation of sigma x bonding molecular orbital and sigma x is equal to psi 2s minus psi 2px plus psi 1 again psi 1 is equal to psi 1s plus psi 1s and therefore sigma x is equal to psi 2s minus psi 2px plus psi 1s plus psi 1s so in this way sigma x molecular orbital is formed which is the bond second bonding molecular orbital again you consider the internuclear axis oxygen contributes to s atomic orbital with negative sine wave function and oxygen also contributes to px atomic orbital but positive lobe of this 2px atomic orbital it is aligned with the 2s atomic orbital this is out of phase combination and suppose there is a psi1 group orbital but it has a negative sine wave function now this group orbital psi1 group orbital as well as 2s atomic orbital of oxygen this aligned with the positive lobe with out of phase combinations and there is a bend orientation there is a bending and because of bending 2s and psi1 group orbital they align with positive lobe but alignment is as per out of phase combination and therefore it is represented by psi 2s minus psi 2px it means 2s atomic orbital and 2px atomic orbital they align with out of phase combination and psi 2px minus psi 1 meaning of this is psi 1 group orbital and 2px atomic orbital these are also aligned with out of phase combination and net result is out of phase combination it results in the formation of anti bonding molecular orbital here the lobes are not overlapping there is no overlapping and therefore there is no effective merging it is represented by sigma star x it is equal to psi 2s minus psi 2px minus psi 1 but psi 1 it is equal to psi 1s plus psi 1s and therefore sigma star x it is equal to psi 2s minus psi 2px minus psi 1s plus psi 1s actually psi 1 is equal to psi 1s plus psi 1s so in this way three molecular orbitals are formed with the combination of 2s atomic orbital and 2px atomic orbital of oxygen with psi1 group orbital and out of these three molecular orbitals there are two bonding molecular orbitals which are sigma s and sigma x and there is one anti bonding molecular orbital that is sigma star x so two remaining orbitals molecular orbitals these are formed uh, with the combination between the 
टू पी जेड